Last time I managed to solve a lot of Bruma's problems. Ah, friend of Bruma. And that infernal screeching is gone. I'll help you. Praise Malakath. And found some of my stuff. Also scored a neat Nodachi and great sword. My armor is intact, but still no hammer. This letter at Gautier's house implicates him. Let me see that. This... that... that bastard. Yes, he did it. I can tell. Plain as day. He tries to speak in riddles, but it seems he's not all that good at subtlety. We found the bastard. And it seems... it implies he got her alive. Perhaps she's still alive. Come, my friend. It's time we got to the bottom of this, once and for all. We're going to Gautier's house. Now. I'll follow your lead. It's time for retribution. Strangely, he wasn't at his house. Well, he wasn't at the castle when I went to do a little investigation while you were away, so he must be somewhere. I bet he's at the house. Just probably not in plain sight. Slimy, Breton bastard. Time to get the bastard. Rah! This silverware, materialistic Breton bastard. Hello there, people. Sirket is just helping out a fellow orc. I'm finally enjoying just playing this game after all the drama with Bethesda development and my long, long work hours. That's what he thinks of her. Of course it is. Just another one of his possessions. Another trophy in his cabinet. That slimy. Wait. Would you look at this? There's a trap door under here. Looks like these barrels got pushed over. <laughs> that little eel tried to hide himself by hiding the way in, eh? That is interesting. He's having me destroy it. I don't know how they did that. Now let's march down here and find my wife. Whew. Today went better than expected, I suppose. But some nosy type came asking around. About mercenaries and bandits and payments. I told you the brute was back in town. And now it seems he's got a lackey who's on our scent. I even felt the need to barricade us in here for protection. This constant running and hiding is... Huh, he likes green women. I know. This is... Not something you hear often. I don't know. This is still so strange. It's hard wrapping my head around it sometimes. Yes, I... I know what you mean, dear. But sometimes things just... <laughs> happen. And you're foolish to fight back. It's unfortunate that we have to keep our relationship as secret as we do, but what choice do we have? Quiet now, Simond. Just relax. Sneaky, slimy, slithering bastard! Here with my wife! My... wife! You deviant, backstabbing... She's mine, dumbrag. She loves me. Your lies can't save you now, you ignorant son of a... I... love him. A tool, you faithless wretch. How dare you? How dare you forsake me so brazenly for this corrupt, spineless... Dumrag, I... Enough of this. A tool loves me. She no longer loves you. You must come to terms with that orc. Now... Leave our home, and never bother me, or her, ever again! This... comes as a shock. I'm sure the money didn't hurt. What, what do I do? What, what... what do I do? I've had about enough of Imperial nobles. Kill him. You're right. That... devious... No! Get away from Simon, you blood... Wow, he didn't even put up a fight. Not sure what to do now. But I'll find a way to carry on. Been a couple days? Looks like a crime of passion. Didn't rob the place or anything. We're catching up, but still far behind. Let's see if we can find a trail outside. Holy shit, that's not your guy, is it? Nope. Ah damn, was that racist? Maybe a little. Hail, friend. We're just looking for an orc named Sirket. And you think I know him because I'm an orc, huh? Well, um, no, but damn. I'm not a racist against orcs, I swear. Actually, I do. I think he was headed over to Anga. It's an alien ruin. Don't say I didn't do anything for you. Sweet, a lead!
Some of these hand to hand movesets are awesome. Hey, I wanted to take my other character out for fun. For just a little bit. I wonder what a Vigilance is doing here. She doesn't have access to elemental bolt type spells because they're not widespread yet. So fireball it is. I don't get to play to sell very much. Random note, she's definitely the most uh, gifted member of my crew. I do love unarmed. It's pretty powerful. With the right gear, that is. Damn, Tyrone, where you be at? I'm gonna do this Macho Man style. I got you for three minutes. The cream always rises to the top. Thanks, Calais. He's a lot higher level than me. There you are. Whoa, I don't know what's happening. Well, I was wonky. I'm not really sure what happened there. No sign of him so far. I feel like we've been had. You're probably right. Might as well finish, though. Ah, damn it. Didn't think about that. She's actually taking a lot of damage. Then again, so are they. Wow, Calais, just walk right in there and take all the explosions. They go down so fast, but they deal so much damage. I mean, monks are supposed to be wizard killers. Well, damn, back to town, I guess. Rizada the Resplendent, Enchanter Extraordinaire, Illusionist Incredible, Restorer Remarkable, and Destructor Distinguished at your service. Uh, I guess. Let me see some of your unique items. Uh, of course, of course. Excellent. Well, I have five fabulous unique items in stock at the moment. The first is the wooden staff of awesome conflagration. No. Nope. The second is the scepter of frosty entombment. No thanks. The third is the blade of prepotence, which causes your target, any target at all, to shrink, becoming supremely weak and vulnerable. Fourth is the staff. Not a staff. Fifth is the rod of... Nope. So, which will it be? That sword sounds good. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, your foes will go running home to their mother when you're towering over them. Dude sounds like a charlatan. 
Something about this makes me very uneasy. Greetings. I will give this guy a shot. Any work that needs doing. Yes, indeed. To my great regret, a few scalawags here in Bruma appear to have not paid their bills for their enchanted weapons from Rosada. I am beside myself with angst about this, as you can no doubt imagine. So, my fair and, might I say, rather imposing friend, if you would be willing to speak to these scoundrels and acquire my warranted compensation, I would be most obliged. Sure. Excellent. Allow me to arm you with more knowledge of the aforementioned mischief makers. You'll need to speak with Roland Wickert, the young chap at the Synod Conclave here in Bruma. Stantis Valeria is the second of these reprobates, the owner of the Gerald View Tavern. The third is Stable Master Ila the Upright. Clearly the title was given rather than deserved. Do this for me, and I shall bestow coin upon you for each, and a truly copious recompense indeed once all three mischief makers are dealt with. This is a neat way to introduce different areas, because it sends you to three of the, like, quest hubs, I guess. I forgot there was a Senate office in Bruma. I purchased one of Razada's, what did he call them? Pleasure candles? Yeah, that's it. He said it would make the customers enjoy their Geral View experience more. In reality, it just clogged the nose. So much so that a few of my regulars nearly choked to death. So no, I don't think I'll be giving him his money. I'm just the messenger. Oh, I suppose. It would be fairly short-sighted of me to complicate your responsibilities any further because of Razada's questionable product. Fine, here's the coin, but deliver my complaint to Razada. Surprised that worked. An orc with charisma? Can I help you? Wow, she looks like she hasn't slept in days. Yeah, keep those eyes open. I'm here to collect payment for Razada. Ah, yes, the enchanted horse hay he sold me. What a joke. The only thing magical about the hay was that it caught on fire very easily. So it does have a use. My horses clippity-clop over it and boom, it goes up in smoke. Nearly burnt down my stable. But what about the coin? Well, I managed to get some use out of it as a way of getting rid of pests. Pretty fun to use, too. But he did still swindle me. Here, take the coin back to Rosada, but tell him to check that his enchanted items actually do what they say they do next time. I'm starting to think Circuit is actually really charismatic. Maybe he's a bard. He's meant to be a bard. When I get back to Skyrim, if I get back to Skyrim, I should take up an instrument. By the way, if you don't remember, I'm killing time until the next guard quest opens up. And in-game, Circuit's still trying to find his stuff. Mainly the very good replica of Stendar's hammer. What the? He teleported out of the way when I was trying to interact with him. And he made me into a thief. This is odd. And you say it just appeared here out of thin air? It isn't mine, that's for sure. Where do you think it came from? Luckily, they're busy. What is with this commotion? Oh, it's the guards. Circuit cannot go back to jail. Who made this mess? That's the thing. We don't know. It just appeared out of thin air. Maybe that stranger over there has something to do with it. You there, come here. Stop implicating me. I don't have a magical bone in my body. You there, come here. Seems the guards moved on. Uh, what mess? I didn't see nothing. Don't play ignorant with me. You are involved in this somehow. I mean, really. You expect me to believe that you just happened to randomly walk in just as this statue appeared here? Well, the word coincidence has a definition for a reason. I honestly had nothing to do with it. Really? You genuinely have no idea what I'm talking about. Hmm. You may be telling the truth, or you may not be. I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. Well then, I apologize for the inconvenience. Welcome to the Bruma Synod Conclave. Attendant, clean up this mess, would you? And take that statue to the back for examination. Uh, yes, first adjunct. How can I help? The actual reason I'm here, to collect for Razada. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I completely slipped my mind. Uh, here you go. As it is, oh, wow, that was easy. I don't exactly have the time for trifles such as this. You seem like a helpful fellow. Would you be willing to help discover the source of this mysterious object? If so, let me know. That's called a breadcrumb. I could use someone of strong wit and not merely strong arm. No promises, buddy. Good afternoon. I'll do it. 
Incidentally, maybe you would help me find something later? As you noticed when walking in, a couple of seemingly random items have been appearing in the Conclave of late, and I'm not quite sure as to why. Given that, as you can no doubt imagine, the Conclave is very busy, I am willing to hire external agents to look into this. I have Crime Decay, hopefully it affects Bruma. Because I have a lot of stolen stuff, including this Nodachi. Good afternoon. Figure anything out about that statue? Anything unusual? Uh, well, it's hard to tell, to be honest. I'm not exactly the most experienced mage in this area, but... But... I did notice that it looks an awful lot like an alien design. Haven't you seen the massive statues by the entrances of the ruins? I also know that alien statues this portable and small would be very valuable, and therefore would probably all have been scavenged from the ruins. Why would an alien statue appear here? My theory? I think someone sent it here as a test. Someone who has access to valuable artifacts such as this, that they plan to come get it back. I think someone is going to try teleporting here using the same teleportation uh, uh, technique. We should... I'm going to continue studying this thing. You might want to tell Cadius that this doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon. More items are appearing. I was curious about the journey Maybe we can take advantage of this. You showed me the other day. Search the conclave. For instance, Look for anything that seems out of the ordinary and bring it here. Myself. Maybe by examining the items, like we can determine their origin. Well, this looks suspicious. Man, there are so many suspicious items down here. I better take them in as evidence. Ooh, Raging Wolf Cloak. Man, that really, that really works with the whole Wanderer aesthetic. I'm gonna keep it. You know, cause it's so suspicious. Aha, this is probably what I was supposed to find. Have you learned anything more about our little perplexity? Here's all the new items. Give them here. Let's see what they can tell us. Not just any generic form of soul gem. This is a black soul gem. Only two types of people use these. Murderers and necromancers. And player characters. This certainly isn't an item which carries with it a positive stigma. Fairly common. But it seems familiar for some reason. This almost seems like the type of boot I would wear. From the future. Intriguing. What else? A book? Weathered memoirs, eh? This seems to be a journal of some sort about the creation of Frostcrag Spire. Well, this is an interesting twist in our little mystery. These taught me a lot, thank you. One thing is certain. Whoever these items belong to is affiliated with the magical arts. Duh. More specifically, the darker side of the magical arts. It would also seem that our mystery mages have some connection with Frostcrag Spire. Well, what can you tell me about Frostcrag? Haven't you seen that large tower in the mountains off in the distance? That is Frostcrag. It was supposedly erected back in the late Third Era by some old mage with too much time on his hands. Quite the sight, isn't it? It would probably still be of great interest to the Synod too, were it not sealed off many years ago by its last residents. I'm not quite sure what part the Spire plays in the summoning of these mysterious objects. Yet. We shall see. Maybe we should just go there and see? You're actually only half right. You see, now that I have at least some idea who's behind this, I'm restricting this investigation. The Synod appreciates all your help in solving this little enigma, but at this point... Wait, what's that? Oh, not again! What was that? Big mistake. This is madness! I am sick and tired of these intrusions. It would appear that your services are a game required before payment can be rendered. I cannot simply step back and allow this to continue. Not now that there is a tangible threat to our hall. I, we, must act. Go to Frostcrag Spire and do whatever is necessary to put an end to these infuriating escapades. I just hope that the college isn't somehow involved in this. Divines know they live to make trouble for us. Not so dismissive now, huh? I'll type this loose end before I go on this wild goose chase. Here's the money. Indeed it is. <clears throat> Why are you looking at me like that? Go on, shoo. I don't work for free. Ah, right, that uh, <clears throat> small matter almost slipped my mind. <laughs> Here, 
Take this spell tome. Not useful for me. I came up with the spell myself, you know. <laughs> to conjure a zombie. Ooh. <laughs> I modified the standard spell to make it more effective. And I believe you will like the results. Cowardly zombie thrall? This dude is the worst wizard I've ever heard of. Is there something I can do for you? Yeah, all those people want to lodge complaints. Also, I'm sure this sword is going to blow up in my face if I use it, so... But that's not an option, so I guess I'll go to my next task. Oh, he's peaceful. Uh, I don't know why, but I thought they were going to attack me. Oh there, Traveler. What's your business in Frostcrack Spire? I'm here for the Synod. The Synod? The Synod have no right to this place. This is soon to be a fully-fledged College of Whispers Sinusure. I am quite bewildered at this turn of events. As you can see, I'm here with a College Reclamation team. We are trying to discover anything of magical interest in this spire. What are you here for? Items keep appearing in the Conclave, and we think they came from here. Well, I can assure you that we are in no way responsible. <coughs> you fool! On second thought, I'm not so sure. The only thing I can say is to check with Master Astor Stentius here in the Sinusure. Something tells me he might have something to do with your little mystery. Astor, you have to be more careful. We don't want anyone getting hurt in this experiment. Be calm, my dear. Be calm. We don't even know if the thing is sending anything through. We have yet to send anyone to check the destination site. For all we know, the blasted creature could be in pieces all over the Gerald's. It was you, Jakul! A zombie? What if it did go through and somebody gets hurt? We can't have that happen, Aster. We need live tests. Ugh. But I see your point. Very well. We'll do it your way. Well, thank you. I just hope it didn't cause too much of a panic over there already. Who are you? Have we met? Did you know strange items are appearing in the Bruma Synod Conclave? They are. Fascinating. It works, then. Simply wonderful. What works? Why, the Spire's portals, of course. You know, the ones I've spent the past few days slaving away at, tweaking, in an attempt to get the damn things to work properly. So, tell me. With the objects intact? Uh, partially intact. Truly. Well, this calls for some celebration. We need to push further. Oh, yes. I think it's time to test this beautiful device out for real. Will you assist me? Without a true test, we will never be able to move forward. It needs to be done if we ever wish to implement our own teleportation platforms in the Sinusures. I doubt the Synod will take too kindly to a Whisper's Mage suddenly appearing in their conclave. Oh, hey, I like the option to just bodily throw him off of the tower. Let me go ahead and volunteer. If it stops zombies from appearing in the Conclave, I'll help. I knew I could count on you. Follow me. What's the worst that could happen here? Well, I could get torn apart. I could appear high above the target destination. I have a potion of slow fall. Are you ready for what awaits you? What I need is to genuinely test these portals out and get them calibrated. I can't fix a problem I don't know exists after all. First, though, I need you to place a marker at the destination site. This ancient thing is set to send people to the old Bruma Mages Guild, which is now the home of the Synod in Bruma. Here's the beacon. I hid it inside this boot here. Just put it in the main hall. With it in place, I'll hopefully be able to focus the portal's trajectory directly to the beacon's location before you test this thing. Won't they object? The Synod might not like it if they suspect you are helping us out. But you already knew that, so I'll see you back here when you're done. Oh, I almost forgot. And it's not like me to forget, so I'd best tell you before I forget again. Bruma's quite the long walk from here. Yeah, so? Excellent question, Carlin. Allow me to tell Wait, you. Wait, the old man's seen now. This is a bad idea. I can teleport you to Bruma. Oh, yes. The glistening frozen city high atop the Gerald Mountains, if my memory serves. And I believe it does. I may be an old man. In fact, I'm fairly sure I am. The theory behind the spell is sound. 
Mostly, I think. This may feel a bit... tingly. All right, here we go. Prepare yourself. No, no, oh no, oh no. Uh, well, it wouldn't let me jump, but I guess I'm fine. Is there a reason why you're leaving a boot on the floor? I certainly hope this is an unorthodox investigation method, and not simply you messing up my conclave. Says nothing, walks away slowly. So what do you need now? Now that I've made every adjustment I can think of to assure its proper function, I need only one thing. Step onto the teleportation pad. If it works, then not only will you have aided me in this first essential test, you will have stopped any further items from appearing in the conclave. Simply step onto the pad when you're ready. I'll put my life on the line for science. Uh, well, honestly, I'm not certain. I would speculate that your body will be stretched, violently torn apart, and spread across the province. It's also possible that your soul will not remain attached to your body during the transfer, leaving it stranded in some forgotten plane of oblivion. The chances of that happening, though, are infinitesimal. You yourself have seen it work in action. Take this with you. If you make it through in one piece, don't bother returning to me. This will let me know you made it. So, whenever you're ready... That is even worse than I thought. So far, it seems to have stopped. Let's hope it stays that way. Yep, job done. Indeed? What happened? What was causing it? College of Whispers, experimenting with a portal. I stopped it. Whispers? Curse those careless, undisciplined necromancers. This time their experiments endangered my conclave. But I'm curious how you think teleporting through it would have disrupted the thing. Still, no zombies, nor any other displaced objects for that matter, have appeared in the conclave since you left. So I suppose it stands to reason that you are being truthful. Hmm. Well, I suppose we'll see. Your service merits reward. Please, accept this sum of coin from the Senate's coffers. Now, good day to you. Apparently you can also ask the College of Whispers for a reward, so I'm going to do that. I helped Aster repair the portal. Oh, you were the one, eh? I heard about that. Good work. Ah. I suppose you're probing for a reward for your service. Let's see here. Ah, yes. Take this. It's an old dagger my team found in one of the ruins during our journey here. Alright, well, that is it for today. I'm gonna just glide back to Bruma. It's been hard to find the time to make videos lately. I've been getting a lot of positive comments on my Proteus video, though. And others. This is always fun for me, but it's a lot of work. A 30-minute video is four or five hours of gameplay and usually takes six to eight hours to edit. It makes it feel so slow to progress. Not as if I can afford an editor. Anyway, happy modding.